Hi, I'm Dave Baring, Technical Director at Tristar, and welcome to another Ask the Expert segment. Um, today's question comes from a customer that is uh, dealing in medical plastics, and they have a particular question about high volume uh, plasma treatment. And their question is, what's the difference between vacuum plasma, like we offer here at Tristar, and Corona? Um, well, Corona is, in its own little way, uh, a, a form of, of plasma. Uh, corona is um, something that is normally used in an um, inline process. Uh, for instance, Corona would be the method that's used to treat plastic film uh, as it comes off of the line and heads into an adhesive coating uh, or a PSA application. And the reason that Corona can be used there is because the, the timeline between the actual Corona treatment um, and the application of the adhesive is literally a matter of seconds or at the most a few minutes. Um, that's where Corona really shines, is inline treatments. Uh, corona does not last very long. It is not a treatment, for instance, that you could uh, uh, coat uh, you know, 500 molded plastic parts and then stick them on the shelf for a week. It doesn't work that way. Corona does not last that long. Um, you know, there's another process uh, uh, in, you know, which is in-air plasma. Uh, that's a little better than Corona, but you still have some timeline restrictions as to how long the treatment will hold. Um, so you have to be sure that whatever time you've got to work with that material falls within the um, the treatment capability that you're using. Um, where our vacuum plasma really comes into play is if you need to treat something and you need longevity. You need that product to sit on the shelf possibly for months before you do the next step. Um, it, that usually doesn't happen in the medical industry, obviously, um, but there, there are occasions where we'll do uh, hydrophobic or hydrophilic treatments where the next step you know, maybe the addition of reagents or something to the plastic component may not occur for several weeks. And so it's, it's absolutely critical uh, that vacuum plasma be the technique that's used in that environment. Because um, again, Corona just doesn't hold up and uh, air plasma, kind of a middle of the road uh, applicator, application there. So um, the, the best thing to do is give us a call uh, write us through the Ask the Expert uh, uh, location on the website. Uh, give us some of the specifics. You know, what is your timeline? How long do you have between the time you want the parts to be treated and uh, whatever your next step might be, whether it's ink stamping the parts or, again, adding some reagents or uh, microfluidics is a little tricky. So, you know, there may be some special requirements that you have there. Um, secondary coatings, lubricious coatings, things like that, um, you really need to consider in vacuum plasma treatments. And again, um, we have a lot of information on our website on vacuum uh, plasma and how it works and why it works and what are the conditions that we can create uh, using the vacuum plasma system. Um, Hopefully that gives you a little bit of a clue as to the differences. And if you have any further questions, again, please contact us through the Ask the Experts or call me at 800 TriStar, and we'll be happy to work with you on uh, coming up with a solution. Thanks for joining us. We look forward to seeing you on another Ask the Experts segment.